What's up, Muscle and Strength? This is Chris Tuttle. Welcome to Texas. I'm gonna take you through the full day of eating. Yeah, so this is my normal boxing day. Unfortunately, hurt my hamstring. So today we're just gonna do meal one, everything else I normally do, and then actually make it a weight training day. So what do we got here? We got um, 30 grams of carbs from Ezekiel bread, 30 grams of carbs from rice and grinds, cream of rice, seven grams of carbs from sliced honey crisp apples. So we're about what, 67 grams of carbs, not including the mushrooms and the spinach. I don't count vegetables. One whole egg, five grams of fat, five grams of fat on the uh, toast. And this is 300 grams of egg whites. This protein meal is a little bit more than say the others, um, but that's my breakfast. And of course, my coffee. I always start breakfast with the whole egg on the toast. Mm. A little runny, so good. So this is a mineral-based water enhancer. That's my very own, I created it. Um, we have uh, sweet tea and uh, lemonade. So headed to boxing. I was doing three dumps per week for a while um, until I started uh, focusing on getting in shape um, for this module I'm created. And let me tell you, boxing and being low in calories does not mix. Uh, very depleted, I don't have that extra gear to create high intensity. Um, I mean, I can operate, but not very well. So I ended up knocking down to two times per week because fatigue was just too great. The extra day that I would be boxing, I would just do like some light cardio around my neighborhood, rollerblading or uh, mountain biking. This is such a hole in the wall place. It's exactly what I want. When you see it, you're like, this looks like a type of a gym that Rocky fought out of. I'm Rafael Casillas with Casillas Boxing and Fitness, and we're here at Rios Boxing Club in Haltom City. First time I came in here and you saw me, you, and I remember you were like, dude, why don't you do some uh, shadow boxing? Let me, yeah. let me see what you got. I remember you stand there and you're going, and then you walk away and sit down. <laughs> yeah, you were slow. <laughs> so slow. Slow, like your muscles. He's got, so many, he's got so many muscles. They're so big, they don't allow him to move. Well, they didn't. He's gotten so much better. But uh, they didn't allow him to move, and it was, uh, it was not pretty. I think you do what I do uh, in our respective training. Like, with your training, you make adjustments so that way you can keep your boxing. Whereas when I'm training you, I have to make adjustments because some of your muscles don't allow you to do what I would have a regular person do. Right, awesome. I will say for a guy as big as you are, you're pretty quick. And my favorite thing is you can go for days. Chris has stamina like I don't, you don't normally see in a big guy. It's, uh, it's pretty good. My post-workout meal is definitely not something what most people think it is. When I'm dieting, I do all real food. Uh, you will usually do your traditional shake, cream of rice, fruit, maybe a little nut butter, but I've been eating white rice, chicken, and sometimes a vegetable and a fruit. Um, but I'm short on chicken, so I'm just gonna whip up a batch, show you guys how I do it. 
for those of you who do know, Bell and Evans chicken. The best chicken of all time. I will warn you, if you go the Bell Evans route, you will never go back to other chicken. So it's warning you. It is air chilled chicken. It's not soaked in the chlorine baths. So it doesn't have that retained water. It doesn't have that chewy ta taste. It's extremely flavorful. This is how chicken is supposed to taste. So salt, pepper, thinly sliced, medium heat. And I will use a thermometer to cook to internal, internal temperature of 165. Why do I do that? So I don't overcook it and it doesn't get dry. You just don't wanna make sure this is too high. One, it's not good for nonstick pans to have high heat on nonstick pans. So that's one thing that people make a mistake of. And then you also, you're not supposed to dishwash your nonstick pans either. Hand wash them with a, a, a non-abrasive sponge and with a decent soap. Nothing that's gonna break it apart and use like a gristle brush or something. Thermometer dude, really? Listen, if you're into your food, you have trouble eating it, you don't like eating healthy food all the time, you try to make it taste better, get a fast read thermometer. This is one of my favorites. I've had this for five years. Um, it's a polder, super fast read, and you always wanna get a fast read because if it's not, you're gonna be standing there over an open flame or a hot grill forever waiting for the th temperature to go up. So we're gonna check it to see where we're at. Make sure you check the thickest part of the chicken. Fresh rice I cooked earlier. We'll portion out 45 grams of carbs worth, 60 grams of carbs post on my training days. Non-training days, I'm down to about 25. Uh, protein today, 150 grams of chicken, which is 45 grams of protein. I always do the 50-50 uh, the green mix, which is basically like arugula, red leaf, spinach, Great tomatoes. I like vegetables. I feel bad for people who don't. You know, I grew up eating a lot of vegetables, so um, it's something that uh, I've always utilized and always liked as a kid. And the last 15 grams of carbs are gonna come from fruit. I will usually, honestly, on low days, if I have fruit, it will be apples. And the reason is sorbitol. Sorbitol helps you shit. And anybody knows in preparation for a show, how common, or just dieting really hard for a long time, lower calories, how common constipation is. And I'd rather alleviate it naturally or keep it moving through consumption of certain foods that assist with moving your bowels. And that's where apples come in. I do one spray of this, which is basically one gram of fat. This is macadamia nut oil with aged balsamic. The combination together is just money. So this, is how you keep cilantro fresh. I bought this two weeks ago. You put it into a cup with some water, right? And then you put the bag it comes in over the top to protect the cold air and the leaves. And you'll have cilantro that will live its entire life um, until you use it all in the refrigerator. So one good tip is get a food scale that has this to pull out. So you can have a larger plate bowl, measure, reverse measure, and still not be able to obstruct what you're trying to do here. This is one of the best scales. This is, uh, what is it, OXO, A-X-O. And, um, and you can, this plate pulls off, you can wash it. I've had this scale for years, years. Another good tip, travel scale. Goes like this, put it on here, zero, and you can measure stuff. So the dressing I use for salad um, has a lot of flavor, very low calorie, is basically your regular balsamic vinegar that they age, obviously, um, and it becomes sweeter. Um, and it's so sweet, you don't need a lot, and it's 15 calories per tablespoon. Um, and anybody have ever gotten to use this is always like, wow, that's really good. And it lasts a long time. A little more pepper, I love salt, Salt, put salt in the rice. And uh, I go back and forth between this. Hot salt ghost pepper. Yeah, gotta be careful of that with reflux. Uh, curry powder, cumin. 
I changed it up, but lately I've been really liking curry powder. All right guys, this is uh, meal two for today. I got 45 grams of carbs from jazz and white rice with uh, fresh cilantro, salt. I got 15 grams of carbs from oranges, which is combined 60 carbs. I'm not counting the carbs from the, the tomatoes, the balsamic vinegar, and the, and the lettuce, of course. I'm 45 grams of protein from chicken. I have no added fat other than the one spray, one gram added of uh, macadamia nut oil for flavor for my salad, and some grape tomatoes. So this is the part of the day, which is really <laughs> intermittently all day. Um, as I work from home, uh, I mainly, my main source of income and my time spent is with clients. Um, I'm a dietitian, I have a master's in nutrition. So I have a background to deal with a lot of medical nutrition therapy, uh, nutrition related disease, diabetes management. I mean, of course, as you guys know, me as the bodybuilder, as the 212 guy I used to compete. Um, I help a lot of bodybuilders compete every year. Uh, last year I helped 103 people compete. Um, and actually nobody placed outside the top five, which was awesome. That's actually a, a good goal to have. And every year I get a little better. So this meal, um, we're gonna do uh, chicken, of course, again, 150 grams, so 45 grams of protein worth cooked. Um, and we're gonna do wilted spinach, so a few grape tomatoes, and uh, 30 grams of carbs from white rice, which will be 105 grams of rice cooked. Jasmine white rice, still keep it in the the rice cook going all day long, nice and warm. And um, I'll do the last 15 grams of carbs on my higher day from uh, Honeycrisp apples. And one good tip with apples, which is great, put them in the microwave for like a minute and the apples get really soft and then you can add some cinnamon and it's really good. Go a step further, you'd add a couple sprinkles of stevia or Splenda and sweet cinnamon, soft apples, tastes like apple pie. Yo, so you see some of my memories. I didn't keep all my trophies. I think I had over 70 trophies, motocross trophies, and obviously I moved from Connecticut to Texas, couldn't bring them all. But I kept the most memorable trophies. My first win, first amateur win, arena cross. Um, here's some history here, like my dad and I going to Georgia racing, my trailer, we would sleep in the trailer, fun time. I actually got into stunt bike riding. So I was doing 12 o'clocks when 12 o'clocks were a cool thing. Now they're doing circuit wheelies, which is nuts. But I was tearing it up, man, on a motorcycle. I love motorcycles. Um, always in the comic book cards and stuff. Here's some history in bodybuilding. Um, that's the first heavyweight class I won. That's my second show that I ever did that I did win. And um, this is an important picture to me. This is my first pro race to try to qualify for nationals. And that's John Dowd, Brock Helpler. People that I had, Justin Bucklew, that I had autographs on my wall as a kid. And here I'm riding with them. So it's a very important picture. Um, this is a collage my wife put together for me. Was, this is my first 212 class at New York Pro where I placed fifth in 2015. Um, this is a week out. This is my buddy Evan. And that's like, Evan doesn't give compliments, which is really funny, but that one day he goes, man, he's like, you look fucking good. And I'm like, no shit. Get the, get the stamp of approval from Evan, it's amazing. Um, but that's good memories to look at right there, you know? It's funny looking at my body weight now, and where I was dead body weight. I think it was around 226 right there. You know, and right now I'm down to 210, 210. So, and I was probably way more conditioned here, so heavier, probably about maybe 18 pounds heavier in muscle back in the day. But yeah. This is meal four today. Um, I tend to change things sometimes on a whim, even when I'm dieting in regards to changing up my carbohydrates. So what I did today, because we had fresh sourdough bread and I still had some jasmine white rice, I have 45 grams of carbs to work with. I have 22 carbs versus with white rice. I have eight grams of carbs from strawberries to make that a 30. And I have 15 grams of carbs from fresh sourdough bread. Of course, my salads I mentioned I had earlier today, which is mixed greens, cherry tomatoes, and a little of aged balsamic vinegar, adding a few carbohydrates. I have 45 grams of protein from chicken. That's what per meal. So 45 grams of carbs, 45 grams of protein, just obviously the added fat that's in the uh, chicken, which is about five, and uh, this is meal four.
All right, this is my meal five for the day, my last meal of the day. This tends to be a little more vegetable heavy, uh, specifically starchy vegetables. I have carrots. So 15 grams of carbs is coming from carrots that are in the air fryer with about three grams of fat added to it, salt, pepper. We have 30 grams of carbs worth of fresh sourdough bread, 45 grams of protein from chicken. I got a little squeeze of lemon, salt, pepper, fresh chopped basil, give it a nice flavor. And of course, zucchini in the air fryer as well. This meal also has about 15 grams of fat total. A little heavier than the fat at the end of the day to keep me fuller, slow down rate of digestion for the meal overnight. And that will conclude my full day of eating. Muscle strength, I hope you guys liked it. Any questions, comment below and please subscribe.